Hi everyone, Luke here from Apple Online Academy and I'm making this video on request because many people are asking what is the other space on the Mac and how we can clean it and this channel is dedicated to helping people so if you have any problem with your Mac feel free to share it in the comments and I can make a video about it to help you out and help other people as well. This will be a fairly long video so if you find my explanation boring or too long feel free to skip ahead even though I don't really recommend it because it's quite a complicated topic if you really want to understand it. But anyway, you can use advantage of these timestamps under the video and find exactly what you need. Now we can start with this topic. First, let's be honest. You can never clean other to zero. There'll always something remain. But we can definitely change this into this. First, open up information about my Mac from the Apple menu on top to find out how much storage is taken by different kinds of files. Here comes the first place of confusion. In a moment you will see a bar which is divided into several different colored sections and each of them representing a different storage category. And often it shows that other storage is taking maybe half of the storage of your Mac and most of the people just close it with the thought that the storage is full of junk. But that's wrong. Wait for it, leave it on the background because it takes a lot of time to load it and categorize these files properly. In this video there is no cut, so you will see how long it really takes to finish the categorizing. And in the meantime we can talk what kind of files falls under the other category. In a nutshell, the other storage on the Mac consists of many different file types, which cannot be categorized clearly as documents, applications, music, movies, etc. Yes, the other category includes some junk files, some updates, some backups, something you don't really need. But in most cases, and the biggest part of it, are really your personal files. It might be frustrating to see this unexplained category on the Mac, but in most cases, these files are useful in some way or another one. So ideally, you shouldn't bother with these files at all. But I know that many people are really bothered by this small portion of a space which is called other. That's why I'm making this video to show you how to reduce it to a minimum. But first let's look at the bar now. It seems that it's all done and how much is other taking now? Not 100 gigabytes, but 10, 12, 15 or just 5? Is it really significant for you? From 500 gigabyte storage how much is it? 1? 2%? Of course, it might be an issue if your disk is only 128GB. That's why we'll try to identify the most of these files and delete it. And I'll show you all of it in this video. But if you're here because of this message and you're running out of space, 5GB of other will definitely not save you. I made a whole video about cleaning the Mac from the simple recommendations until some basic system folders. I think it's quite a nice guide how to check many places on the Mac and get rid of the most of unused files and delete the junk from other personal folders and from the system folders as well. If it's the only reason why you are here, I would recommend you to watch the other video as well. Because here we will go specifically for other storage, only the small portion of your Mac storage. So let's start by clarifying what file types are considered as other. Here in front of you on the screen you can see the categories and files extensions which falls into other and we'll talk about each of them closely and try to find some of these files. Good thing is that you can set your entire Mac not only by file name but also by file type. Let's open up Finder. I like to use Command N shortcuts to open new Finder window and here click on the search bar. It really doesn't matter in which folder you are currently because we will switch it to search this whole Mac anyway. Now type PDF. And here it offers you to search by name, but also a file type right under. Select that, and here is a huge list of PDF files I have on my Mac. I don't really want to go through this, we can filter it a bit more. If you press the plus button and from the pop-up menu choose other, and here type size. There you go, file size, and I can set it, let's say more than 100 megabytes. And look, I have here two large files which I can either move to external storage or delete it if I don't need it anymore. And that saved me 200 megabytes. You can perform this search with other types. If you work with Photoshop often, 
type psd. These files are useless. It's just saved projects. Let's delete it. Usually when you finish your work in Photoshop, you'll simply export the file in PNG or JPEG and don't need to save the project as well. Second one on the list are macOS system files and temporary files. I talked about it in the other video, but let's repeat. Well, how many times do I say other in this video? I'm quite interested in it. If you can count it for me, leave it in the comments below. But you know, every second the Mac is on, it creates some files and it can pile it up, so it makes sense to clean them. Because guess what, they fall under the other category as well. And Apple didn't make it easy for us to clean this. And maybe that's a good thing, Apple likes to delete things and they can really mess up something but shouldn't be deleted. But anyway, we will look in these folders now. For this kind of files you need to inspect your library folder. So let's open up library now. The easiest way to do it is through the go menu on top. And here click the library in the middle. If you don't see it here press option key on your keyboard and it will appear. If you are manually cleaning files from library often, it might be handy to set the library to be visible all the time. I made a short video about how to set it up, if you are interested you will find the link in the description. But let's not waste time with it now. To manually find where is the majority of apps temporary files, you have to navigate to application support folder. In this folder you will find all of your applications and if you sort them by size you can easily find which one is taking the most of the space. If you don't see the sizes of these folders then click on the view menu on top, select show view options and tick on calculate all sizes. Now you should be able to sort even the folders by size. In my case this app takes the most and what is that? Some old recordings in here. I've already exported them so I don't need this anymore, let's delete it and it will save me another 3 gigabytes of space. You also might have gigabytes of storage taken by iOS backups in here. Look for mobile sync folder and see if you have something here. I don't backup my phone on the Mac but on iCloud so nothing to delete here for me. And one more funny thing to check and it's your screensavers. They will definitely be small files, maybe not there at all. However, if you are determined to clean out as much other storage as possible, you can delete all files from the screensaver folder as well. I already don't have any here. Once we are here in the library, we can go one step above and clear caches. There are three main types of cache files. It's a browser, user and system. Well, cache files are meant to help your system work faster. But over time, they can get bigger and bigger, eventually even slowing your system down. So if you see a large number here, it might be worth for it to clean it up. Basically you can just select all the files in this folder and drag it to the trash. But before you do that, I would recommend to copy the files somewhere in the other folder, maybe on desktop temporarily. Just in case something goes wrong, maybe some app doesn't work and so on. So you can give it some more time and see if it's all fine, then you can delete it later. I usually don't delete caches at all, because they consist of some passwords, settings, customizations, and I don't want to bother setting it up again when I open the app after some time. But if you want to save some space, go ahead and delete it all, it's all fine. Another category of other files are zip files and these images files. Normally archives are files you want to keep for some reason. But if you have a feeling that you have accumulated so many of them, so many zip files or DMG files, that it makes sense to go and clean them up as well. For this thing we can use the same technique we did in search of a large PDF files. So again open Finder and search for DMG. It's offering here to check all disk images files. Click on it and here are the results. If you select the file and press Command I on your keyboard, it will open up information about that file. And it says it has over 3 GB of space. Old installator for Final Cut. Let's get rid of it. Press Command Delete on your keyboard and some space have been saved again. I don't really know what are these two files so I'd rather keep it not to mess up something. But nice 3 GB deleted. Want to clean some archives as well? Then let's do the same. It will most likely be more files here. So type zip. And again, same as the PDF files, you can filter it by size and delete only the big ones. But let's move to another category now. Another little pieces 
taking up on the other storage can be plugins and extensions, especially after Safari got the update where you can install tons of extensions now. Comparing to some other files, it will probably not take as much of the storage. But since these extensions and plugins can cause some other problems, so in the time you're saving the space and also making sure that everything works. To remove extensions from Safari, open up Safari first. Click on the preferences on top. Even though here it says extensions, the right place you want to go to remove them is under preferences and it's on the extension tab. Great, I don't have any in here. If you do, you can just select the extension you want to target and uncheck enable to turn it off or you can click uninstall to completely remove it. To do the same on Chrome browser, open it and click these three dots in the top right corner. Now select more tools, extensions and here you can perform the same. Disable or remove anything you want. If you don't really know what this plugin is doing, don't rush to remove it. Probably I would first try to disable it, check if everything works fine, if the apps are working well, and then I can come back and delete it. As I said before, it usually doesn't take as much space, so you don't need to rush it. And now the last category, which consists of everything else what doesn't fit in normal macOS categories. Do you see the irony in it? Other storage on the Mac has its own other files. Well, what else can it be? Once I'm so specific about this, why not make this video a little bit longer and find these files as well? I can get few more watch hours on YouTube, right? But the other things we can easily remove using these storage recommendations. I would put here some messages, mail, books, even some other fonts or maybe templates from Pages or Keynote. So open up about my Mac from the Apple menu once more, switch to the storage tab and click manage. And here on the left sidebar you can see messages, books and other which can be cleaned up from here. Now it's time to empty the bin and see how much storage we saved. Now I see here 9 gigabytes. As you notice I was not deleting most of the files what I was showing you to delete. And yet we saved few gigabytes of space. Let me know in the comments how much space did it save for you. I'm quite interested in it. At the end I would recommend to restart the computer. It will settle things down and it might save some space as well. And how much space are we talking about now? 3? 5 gigabytes? Well this video was really about cleaning the other storage on the Mac. If you want to identify the large files and what is really taking up a lot of storage, go see my other video about it. I'm really happy that you watched it all the way till the end. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. It's Luke from Apple Online Academy.